Yet while I lived, all earth was under me. You must know that I'm a man under a most strange affliction. My lady the Queen has said that none may see my face until the bewitchment is broken. Holy guards! Bring wine and updwellers food for my guests. Please you be seated, gentlemen. Determined to break through to the overworld as soon as possible. You must understand, my friends, that I know nothing of who I am or who I was in my past life. I remember no time when I was not dwelling at the court of this queen. But my thought is that she brought me hither to save me from the evil enchantment. An empty cup, Frogfoot, suffer me to refill it. Queen and I ride sometimes in the overworld to accustom my eyes to the sunlight, but I must go with my visor down and may never speak lest the spell be broken. But what is this evil enchantment you're under? I know not. Only that at a certain time every evening I become a changed man. I grow in fury and rage. And would kill even my dearest friend if he came close to me. And that is a spell with all the marks of a witch upon it. But by Her Majesty's art I shall be free from this accursed mask! and the bewitchment the moment she has made me king of that land and given me her hand in marriage in the overworld above. As a matter of interest, where is the queen now? At that very place. Inspecting the diggings. Soon, a thin roof of earth will be broken through, and with her to guide me, and a thousand under earthmen at my back, I shall ride forth in arms, slay my enemy's chief men, and doubtless be their crowned king within four and twenty hours. A bit rough luck on them, isn't it? <laughs> Thou art a lad of wondrous quick working wit, for on my honour I'd never thought of it so before. I see your meaning. Isn't it comical to think of all of them going about their business and never dreaming that under their peaceful fields and floors, only a fathom down, is a great army about to break out upon them like a fountain? <laughs> I don't think it's funny at all. You sound to me as though you'll be a wicked tyrant. What? Is the little maid a deep politician? Never fear, sweet one. I shall rule that land by the counsel of my lady, who will then be my queen too. Her word will be my law.
friends. That hour is very near. I'm ashamed that you should see me. Yet I dread to be left alone. What is to happen? threatened us, and the moment they see us, well... The guards! Go through yonder door, it leads to my private apartments, and there await my coming to you once my sufferings are over. back to him. No. I'd rather not. But wait a minute. I'm sure that queen's a witch and an enemy. There's a strong, strong smell of danger and magic and lies and treason. We need to know everything that's going on. I vote we go back. and goes and is not yet fully upon me. Make no noise, for I told that prying warden that you were in bed. Listen while I am still master of myself. When the fit is upon me, I shall beg and implore you, entreat and threaten you to loosen my bonds. They tell me that that is what I do. I shall call upon you by all that is most dear and most dreadful, but do not listen to me. Harden your hearts, stop your ears, for while I am bound, you are safe. If once I were up and out of this chair, I'd be transformed into a serpent and would kill you. Never fear. We have no desire to do battle with serpents. But be careful. There's no knowing what I will say to catch you off your guard. You promise?